Great shot. Wonderful movement. Getting the feet in proper position. Balls, please. Thank you. Look at how he runs around that backhand. Loves hitting that inside out forehand. Well, seems like he's getting a little bit better as this match has gone on. idea. Didn't try to do too much with it. Wanted to make Del Potro have to hit a low half volley. Just missed it. And that's really intelligent from Nadal. I think when Del Potro is coming forward, the most important thing is to try to make him reach for the ball. the line. That was a good serve. It's just oh, rushing that forehand. break to the good with two serves to come usually would be enough for Nadal so a little bit of a roll at the moment eight of the last nine points it's all the best players in the world are able to do time their surge perfectly
The element of surprise, something that's made Nadal such a great player. He does what's least expected on some really crucial points. And he's always had pretty much success doing so. Like he's got control of the point, but what a great topspin lob. Nadal trying to track it down, totally discombobulated. Don't see him like that too often. has done well to keep this tiebreak interesting. But Nadal still with the upper hand. Two points away with two serves to come. on crucially gave it just enough elevation and the goal was so deep behind the baseline that it was always going to be a winning shot it was just down to the execution of it and that's what delighted him so well, Potro has turned things around beautifully here two points one against the Nadal serve so set point for the Argentine 